So you have to add, or you have to use a factor of 10 to the 3 beyond your 1 to 3. So the fractional scale, which you said, is 1 to 3,000. Mm. Correct. So that's, that's the classic way a scale is represented, is that, fract that unitless scale. Mm. And the nice thing about that is, then that scale is universal. It doesn't matter what units you use. So one inch equals 3,000 inches. But that's an irrational thing in American units, right? But nonetheless, you can use it that way. The other one that, what did I say, 25 millimeters equals 75 uh, meters is millimeters equals meters. That has two different units on either side. It's sort of ridiculous to do that in metric units because you can always just move the decimal point. But if that were inches, that comes in handy. So you might have like one inch equals 2,000 feet or something like that. Uh, so then you have a, 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 a scale that has units. You should burn all three of those in your brain because all, you always have to worry about scale on any map. You always have to think about the scale of the map. Even when we get to doing digital work, we are zooming in and out on a map. You have to think about what scale you're looking at on any given view. Now it's time to do it. Yeah, oh, we're all here now. The other car came back. No, he's still not back. I will wait for him.